Hello and welcome to International Film Festival at Tuda and Anima. My name is Paulina and I'm happy to introduce you our next guest. It's uh, Peter Hoferika from Slovakia. Hello, Peter. Uh, hello, Cześć, Dzień dobry. Uh, glad, <laughs> to see, glad to see you and uh, glad to have my movie on this festival. Yeah, Peter is a director of Greetings from Nigeria. It's a movie that uh, you will be able to see on our festival. And uh, yeah, I will. I would like to talk uh, with you, Peter, about your movie, uh, which shows a story of Grandpa Emil, who gets an email from Nigerian prince. And this Nigerian prince promised our main character huge fortune. And uh, Grandpa Emil believes in that and try to uh, send Nigerian prince some extra money, um, which finally uh, is just a scam uh, as you uh, show us this situation. But could you explain, because you show us an example of this, what I called Nigerian scam, could you explain what is that and why elder people are so easy target to these Nigerian scums? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, the whole movie is a movie about scams and uh, you can find it, just open your email address and uh, just see uh, the, you know, the trash, the trash can, because there is a lot of emails which automatically go there and it's from Nigerian Prit, some Chinese businessman, some big uh, business owner or some international bank. And everybody is just, uh, just wants to provide you uh, a lot of money for nothing, for doing nothing or for sending just a small amount of money. So why I, I think what I found out after the movie was that not only old people are vulnerable, but everybody, I mean, from the youngsters to the generation of my parents, for example, I mean, everybody is vulnerable because uh, it's, it's something in us, uh, this greed or this easy way of getting something. Uh, I mean, when it's easy, it's, uh, you should be suspicious and curious why it's that easy. Uh, and that's why you should, I mean, fact check, uh, what, what are you, where are you sending your money and who are you going to believe? Yeah. Uh, so, have you had uh, the same situation as Grandpa Emil? Uh, have you been a victim of uh, such a scam, internet scam? Uh, I was I was a victim of perfume scam <laughs> when I first came to uh, the capital city of Slovakia. This uh, very cute lady started uh, giving me these perfumes and telling me that it's for free. And I just took one and second and third. And then she w uh, gave me the fifth one and said, this one you have to pay for, I don't know, 80 euros. And I was very scared <laughs> because I really believe that all these uh, exclusive perfumes are just uh, given to me just for free. So that was my scam. But the internet scam that I occurred was uh, with my real grandfather who, who is still doing it and the family cannot uh, really uh, <laughs> tell him otherwise uh, uh, because he's just so, uh, you know, uh, hard boiled and he just, he just thinks he, he, he is right. And he, we does we don't know as a family what's right. So, uh, but, but he, he doesn't get it through email. He gets it through the post service and uh, it's just, you know, uh, you have to buy some products from this, uh, from this web page and you are, uh, you know, uh, put it, put into the lottery where they, uh, you know, like you have a chance to win 5,000 euros. If you buy a next product, you have a chance to win 10,000 euros and so on and so on. He's been doing it for quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's my this movie is my love letter to my grandfather uh, and to all the money that has been thrown away okay. through the window. But it also sounds like it's a, almost like a gab gambling, you know, for him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he also gambles. He also does this uh, sport, uh, you know, uh, tipping for sports. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, he likes this little chance of getting. Uh, to a lot of money because it's a greed. It's something very simple in our human nature to get something very fast without any effort. Mm -hmm. 
but <coughs> in your movie, the ending is because whole movie it's a really funny show in a light way. In the end, uh, we actually can see that Niger Nigerian prince actually exists, which, which is really funny. But uh, unfortunately, Grandpa Emil is killed by all this stuff he bought through the internet. So um, that, that is really um, what was wondering me, uh, if uh, you recognize your movie as a critic of consumerism, that all the stuff we buy through the internet or in real life, it, they are actually can kill us, you know? Uh, I mean, you can interpret it in that way. Uh, I mean, it's an, it's an open, the film is an open book. You can interpret it in a lot of ways. Uh, so for me, it was basically <laughs> a fun idea to kill the grandfather uh, because I mean, the, when I when I was writing this movie, my grandfather was really bad, uh, and it looked like he could, uh, you know, leave this world. And I was very sad about it, and wanted to make a movie about death, about preparing for the death of a close person, of an old person. So that's why I mean I connected this personal uh, fear, and and yeah, yeah, that's that's why <laughs> that's why it's it's also about maybe a death. <laughs> of an old person and uh, about hope in the end. I mean, the last shot for me, it's hope. It's that uh, not, not everything's lost. So, yeah. Okay. So uh, your grandparent, has he had a chance to see your movie? What was his reaction? It, it's very funny because he really liked it. Uh, <laughs> and he absolutely didn't connect himself with the topic of internet scams. He was like, oh yeah, this is a very dangerous topic and it's good that you are shooting a movie about it because old people are very crazy and uh, they should be aware of it. So, and, and but, but the second thing is I made it about my grandfather, but I combined the personalities of one of my one grandfather and the second grandfather. Because one was the one who was getting ill and who is, you know, uh, into these scams and sending all the money all over the world. And the other is the one who, uh, who has internet, who found out internet about three years ago. So he's just crazily uh, surfing it uh, from front to the back. <laughs> so I combined all these two, uh, you know, viewpoints of life and made this one character that's, that's Grandpa Emil. Okay, okay. Um, because um, in your movie, we can you are you're, you're portraying whole family. We can meet, you, of course, Grandpa Emil, who is uh, main character of this movie, but also his daughter, wife, and uh, grandchildren. And I was wondering if we can recognize you in this small guy, this grandchildren. Is it you? <laughs> That's that's a funny that's a funny detail. I mean, it, uh, when I was uh, picturing it as a director, as making it into the shots, into the pictures, I was thinking I have to have some perspective of who is who is this story. I mean, it's obviously a uh, grandpa Emil's Emil story and the story of this family, but I needed to do uh, like my point of view in sort of a way. And that, that's why there's this small boy, because when I was young, and uh, I'm still young, but when I was very, very young, very small, uh, my parents used to just throw me into my grandparents' home, and I was just there for a week or for a month, and they just, you know, they were just doing their stuff, and I was just there watching television or playing some games or just wandering around the church. And that's why there's a small boy. That's why that there's me, <laughs> because... Uh, that's how it works, you know, in, in Slovakia and in many countries, you are just thrown into a, uh, to, to your grandparents, which have uh, enough time for you so they can just uh, take care of you. But, but usually this taking care means you are just standing around and just trying to do something by yourself. Yeah, 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 that's true. Um, and I wanted to ask you about this apartment where your movie was shooted. 
mm, it was really realistic. Uh, the scenography was really realistic, and this um, apartment is. I would say that it's. Uh, Mm, reminds me my grandparents' house, uh, which was uh, really fun to me. Uh, I wanted to ask you uh, mm, how you were looking for that location, and uh, you also decided to show it in a specific way, uh, wide angles of your camera, uh, specific colors. This what makes this picture really surreal surrealistic as well. Oh yeah, we were uh, we were very very lucky to find uh, this kind of house because uh, I mean that's like the universal old people house in Slovakia. Even even though it's a little bit older, it's more stylized, uh, you know, because also grandparents in Slovakia live in much more modern houses. But this one was this had this uh, this dirt or you know this oldness which which I really liked. And it has all the rooms we needed for shooting. Like there is this beautiful blue room with all the wallpapers on it, uh, which which is just I, I think it's glowing on the picture when you watch it. Uh, so so that was really beautiful. And it was in one place which had uh, nice windows, nice furniture, and everything. So we just move stuff the stuff around and find uh, I think six or eight shots which will be wide enough and nice enough to tell the story. Uh, we need it. And then there's church, which is, I mean, uh, th that's, that was a nice church. <laughs> and there's this exterior, and that was also very easy to find because there's enough nature in Slovakia, which is uh, <laughs> quite good to shoot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, you po um, you're a director who um, sees himself like uh, mostly focus on uh, comedy, uh, comedy uh, topics and I was wondering why this uh, comedy is so close to you why you love it so much mm -hmm. well maybe maybe I'm not funny in real life so I'm trying to be funny through the pictures or, or something uh, or I don't know uh, I mean I like comedy in a way it, it's um, you are a little bit more far further away from the things that are happening uh, and you are just, you know, sh sh I mean, it's, it's very hard why. F comedy is tragedy plus, plus time. So it's something sad, really, <laughs> which you just look from the distance or from, uh, you know, from some different angle to show tragedy through uh, laughter. Uh, I don't know, it's these emotions that we have in this country. I mean, you are laughing and you are suffering and you are just uh, lonely, but you are trying to push this loneliness into something uh, funny. So maybe maybe that's why. And I think comedy is really hard to do. And it's much more pleasuring when you see the audience laughing or having having nice time after watching the movie. That's for me very, very... Uh, I have nice feeling when uh, people have nice... Uh, <laughs> like movies and when they have, when they have uh, nice thoughts after watching it. Mm -hmm. I think that this kind of comedy you have uh, shown us in your movie is really close to our por Polish soul and Polish identity. I think that we this what we are, have in common when it comes to Slovakian people and Polish people, that uh, some some humor maybe is uh, uh, similar. Um, Okay, uh, thank you, Peter, for our conversation, and I'm really glad that I had a chance to see your movie, Greetings from Nigeria, uh, which you also can see uh, in our festival. Um, so thank you, Peter, and good luck with your next work. Hope to see you soon here. Thank you very much. Hope to see you personally. I'm sending greetings from Slovakia. Enjoy the movie, enjoy the f festival, and have a nice time. Do, do widzenia. <laughs> do widzenia, papa. Cześć. 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 Ciao, ciao.